Hey guys, McJeffries here and welcome back to Cities in Motion 2. And today I am in the problem area of the city. You might have noticed it. This is the MCH. Well, technically the MCH is over in this area. But uh, this is the bus and trolley part of the MCH. And as you can see... There are too many vehicles here queuing up to go into the depots. And in fact, I could actually change the trolley one slightly because we don't need this many vehicles anymore. Uh, does that say 20? I believe that does say 20. So let's take this down to something like 25. I totally forgot about that. Not very good of me. There we go, 25. Now watch all those trolleys just float inside. Not a problem there at all. So yes, this bus depot is the bane of my life. And in actual fact, the bus lines around here are also the bane of my life. And I am considering either redoing them or scrapping them entirely as we don't need them anymore because things like the Cobalt B line look how much money they're losing us 4,000 and I know it's all going on driver costs and what I could actually do is delete the B lines so I'm going to do that and I'll replace them with something a little bit better and that vastly reduces the number of vehicles needed. So now it's uh, 19 plus 18 which is 37. So I could take this down to let's say 40 and that might actually save the bus lines. If it's something simple like that then I'm very very happy. If there's something a little bit more complex about it then I'm not as happy. But that's that done. And that might even be the solution to the problem. Uh, what we now need to look at is... Um, first of all, naming some more areas of the city. I've had some comments from you guys, and I'm very, very pleased with the, uh, the response that you guys have given me to the recent um, request for names of the parts of the city, and also ideas for future episodes. Uh... Right, Freedom Channel has said, I would love to see you work more on the roads. Some parts of the City Expressway are, and it cuts off there, but it was something along the lines of congested, very congested. And you're right, they were. H however, at the moment, they seem to have really died down. They are still being heavily used, but not as much as they were before. It's only really during rush hour that it, it really gets busy, and that's because all all the cars are trying to get into this left hand lane so that when they get to the end here they turn left into the actual city centre um, and okay we know where the problem is it's a very very difficult one to actually fix because I could make this carriageway five lanes wide and they'd still all filter over into the left hand lane and you just have two extra lanes of traffic trying to get into that left hand lane and it will cause all kinds of problems so I do agree with you the freeway is a nightmare, it's a massive pain in the backside, but there isn't a great deal I can do about it right now to fix that problem, unfortunately. But stay tuned for that, because I might find a solution at some stage. Uh, we have quite a lot of north-south connection lines now, which might help with that. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on that, I might come up with a solution. If you have a solution as well, guys, then uh, by all means let me know. All ideas considered, best ones chosen, as per usual. Um, and yeah, that's that one out of the way. The next one I really liked the look of. Um, and I'm struggling to find where it is now. Give me one second. It, someone commented with... Aha, I might have found it. Uh, nope, not that one. Where is it? Someone commented on my video with name suggestions. 
There we go. Mega Bray has given me some ideas for names of parts of the city. Uh, the list he has given me is Kanata, Bridalwood, Carp, Morgan's Grant, Huntmar, Scarborough, or Scarborough, I think that says, uh, Stittsville, Dundas, and then something else again. Um, not all of those ideas are going to be chosen, I admit, uh, and I also apologise for that. Very, very good suggestions. I like the idea of Bridalwood, and I do like the idea of Huntmar. So Bridalwood, let me come out of underground view, we have quite a heavily wooded area over here in this new part of the city. We also have quite a heavily wooded part, um, I mean city east is full of trees as well. And Bridalwood, it sounds like quite an upmarket name. Kind of place where lots of expensive houses would be. And I'm just looking to see. Docklands needs fixing a little bit by the looks of things. Might do that in the future. Um, I'm just looking to see, I think over here we have quite a lot of expensive looking houses. So I think this new suburb here, this avenued area here and then around that avenued area there, I think that should be called Bridalwood. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think, but I like the idea of calling that Bridalwood. I also like the idea of Huntmar, um, as I've already said, and I think I'm planning on expanding the water bus service to down here somewhere. And I like the idea of Huntmar Bay as being the name of a part of the city. So I think we're going to do that. Uh, and again, I'm just looking to see where I can actually do it. Maybe down in the, either this little alcove here or this little alcove here, create it at uh, Huntmar Bay. I definitely like the idea of that, so keep keep that one in mind. Um, and the final one I was going to choose, I think it's actually been cut off the list, so give me one second, see if I can find it on my phone. I really should be more prepared for this. Uh, there it is. Orleans, that was the last one. Now this is a, a European city, it's not American and it's certainly not British. Um, Orleans is a French name. I'm totally not pronouncing it the way that a French person would, so I apologise for that as well. Um, but that is definitely a, a good name for a part of the city, and again it sounds quite upmarket. So I think um, if this area here is Bridalwood, maybe... Maybe City East should be renamed Orleans. Again, guys, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, at the moment, they are speculative names. They will only be confirmed once I know you guys are happy with them as well. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, if you have any more suggestions, by all means, let me know. Um, but apart from that, we are now going to actually focus on doing something productive in this video. And what we're going to do is... Uh, in the last episode, I believe it was, we built the new Metro Skyway line, which you can see here. And I put the cheapest form of control car, power car, and passenger car out on the line. And it actually looks like a pretty cool train. The wheels are a bit weird. They're not really on the track. But the actual trains themselves, from above, they actually look really, really cool. I don't know what they remind me of, but they definitely remind me of something. Um, and in terms of passenger numbers, uh, we're doing really well. Look at the profit margin on that. That is incredible. And you might have seen I also called it the trolley line. I think I showed you guys that bit. That's in reference to the fact that it replaced the trolley line that used to run uh, through this part of the city. Um, that's about it, really. That's the only, the only actual closeness it has to the trolley system was that. Every single station it looks has passengers waiting in both directions as well which is also fantastic and even this station up here where it connects with uh, the there it is the shelter where it connects with the loop section up here even that has passengers waiting which again is fantastic to see. 
Admittedly we're not filling the trains, but that's the reason why I chose the smallest size trains, so that we're not wasting too much capacity. And during rush hours, see here we've got 87 passengers travelling, and the trains do get bigger. We had an extra car on during rush hour. Uh, but apart from that, it does look really, really good. There's another one that's full, there's another one that's over capacity. Um, and there's another part of the city. Is it under here? There was another part where it got quite busy. Uh, oh, this bit gets quite busy, where it connects with the tram. And again, the tram the capacity of the tram has gone up considerably because of that. The Cardinal line seems to be very popular now, but I'm going to keep it as single car formation for now. Uh, until I know for a fact that it's... Both of these lines really are going to stay single car. Until I know that they're definitely worthwhile expanding. They are, that one's making a profit. That one I can't tell because I just went on the wrong thing. Cardinal. Oh yeah, they're both making a profit, so that's good. I'm going to recheck my profit loss in a second for um, the buses as well. But for now, like I said, we're going to do something productive. Um, we're going to build some more bus lines, water bus lines. Because as you can see, we have this triangle here, the Rat House Triangle. Um, we have this triangle here. Which uh, is that stop, this stop, and this stop. At the moment, this is called Water Bus Line 1. Um, again, we need names of the cities, parts of the city, so that we can actually name these triangles. But the next one we need to do is a triangle from this stop to this stop, and then over to this stop. And that's actually the last one that we need to do. And then everything's connected up again, apart from this triangle here. But we can do that at any time, really. Um, so I'm going to stick down a water bus depot. I think I'm going to put it here. Like that. And then I'm going to build a new water bus line. Um, well, we won't name it yet. We'll copy the timetable from Rat House Triangle, wherever that is. It's got lost really in amongst all this. Uh, there it is. So I water bus every two hours, and then every hour during the rush hour, and somehow that works. Passengers aren't necessarily happy with having to wait for two hours for a water bus. But we haven't had massive complaints, and as long as we're not getting massive complaints, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, oh, I need to put another waypoint down. Let's put it there. Okay, so it's going to go there, 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 over to this waypoint, to there, and then in a straight line back, down depot. Did that work? Yes. Cool. So now I need to buy three water buses. I'm going to buy three small ones actually. So I don't think this, this particular part of the route is going to be that popular. And I can always change the timetable if necessary. Okay. And whilst I'm doing water buses, I might as well do this triangle over here as well. Because um, you never know. It might be quite popular. I'm going to do it slightly differently for this triangle. I'm going to build the depot on Pimlico Island. And I'm going to map out the route so that it's not so much a triangle, it's more um it's more a V shape really, how I've got it in mind. There we go. So this one's going to go down here to this stop, and then it's going to go up to this stop, back down to this stop, up to this stop, and then back down to this stop again, and then back to depot. And we need four buses for this one, and I'm going to go for this one. They can fit 96 people on board. That's a monorail train, and a little bit extra. It's a monorail train and a half almost. 
Um, and it's only really here that I think we're going to see a lot of passengers arriving and leaving. Uh, coming to and from Buckingham Palace. But you never know. I might be wrong. I can't see many passengers joining here. Because there's no other lines really that connect. I don't think... No, it's just the the entrance is only covered by the water bus line. So I think it'll only be people from these buildings. There are a couple of buildings here that are only served by the water bus. So you never know. Maybe. Maybe we'll see people using it. Who knows. Um, what I do know is this stop. It's got people waiting for it already. Uh, yeah, what I do know is this city is definitely starting to take shape now. Tram Square is still a little bit busy. Um, it's not as bad as it was before. It's a great improvement to how it was at first. It seems to have settled down a little bit more now and operates better as a uh, collection point for all of our tram lines. And there aren't that many trains that bunch up. There's these two here from the, the Crimson Line that have bunched up. But apart from that, we're, we're doing pretty good uh, in that respect. I don't think there's any more lines that I haven't fully connected yet. So Tram Square might actually be completed um, in terms of lines connected to it. Unless I build some more lines somewhere. I am considering building an underground tramway using metro tracks between stops. And I have been told by somebody that there is a mod that allows trams to run at metro train speeds and I am tempted I am very very tempted by that um, that is the kind of thing that I would look to put into the game but unless I have to start again if I have to start again to make it work then I will not be doing that if I don't have to start again to make it work then I'm happy to give it a go and see how it works because that would be pretty cool then if I could have rapid transit systems made of tram lines running north to south as well as just having metro trains everywhere. Because we are quite metro heavy now. Considering I said at one point that we wouldn't have many metro lines in this city, I wanted to focus more on buses and trams. We are very, very metro heavy. And even now, I am looking at the city thinking where can I build the next metro line. It is crazy. I'm always looking to build metro lines now. Now that we've got one that comes out from underground as well, I am very tempted to do that again. So I do actually think this looks pretty cool. It's the way it runs alongside the road like that. Even these little up and down sections where it dips underground suddenly. I even think they look pretty cool. And, as I've already said, the trains look very, very cool. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but that to me looks really, really good. That does look like a, what you'd expect a... Almost looks like Docton's like railway trains. Slightly different shape, but a very similar style. And in my mind, this is an automated metro line, like the DLR is. So, it's pretty cool. I like it. We have got to connect Bridlewood up as well, so... Um, that's definitely going to be done, possibly with a metro, with a little bus service, just connecting everything up properly. Okay guys, what's the time of this video? Coming up to 20 minutes. Have I got time for a little bit more construction? I probably do. And it is to do with metro lines. Hublink. Hublinks 3 and 4 we have under here, as you can see. And as I said when I built these lines, there is room for further expansion and extension. And that's kind of what I'm going to look at today. Um, I want to build more north to south trunk routes to try and get the cars off of this expressway. And we have done a pretty good job with that at the moment. Less cars are using the roads now, to the point that I was able to turn this again from a one-way street into an avenue, and there's no traffic build-up. I haven't done it over here yet, because I think this bit might still be quite popular. But there are only, was it four road bridges? between the north and the south and this one only exists because I put the tram line in if it wasn't for that then it wouldn't exist um, and this one I don't actually need anymore I can delete this one 
and then that leaves just these two, one of which is the only way that you can travel north. So I think to get people out of their cars and onto mass transit, that is quite an important thing to do. And we have got the buses and we have got the trams, but I think Hublink could do with a bit more expansion as well. That might not happen in today's episode, thinking about it. I might need some time to have, actually have a look at it and see where these hubs are. Otherwise, it's not really Hublink, is it? It's just uh, another metro line. But I do like the idea of the, the tram line running on the metro tracks underground. And to be honest, I could have actually used that to replace the trolley line over here instead of building the trolley line. But we have the trolley line now. Wow, 200 passengers waiting there to head north again. We have not got the uh, capacity for that number of passengers yet. Might have to run longer trains. Although, I think we have a train... Was it every half an hour I had a train running? I can't even remember now. But I know this is a very, very busy line because of where it runs. And it does connect to a lot of important places. So I am looking at that. I'm always looking to expand this line if possible. We have longer platforms so we can run longer trains. It was all part of the design. And I keep getting distracted from what I wanted to do, which is the tram line that I keep talking about. So I think we have a couple of avenues here in the north part of the city. Um, and I am looking at this one especially, this avenue, because it ends. So I think we could have... And I'm just looking to see where we could do it. I've really dug myself a, a hole with this. Although actually no. No, I can I can save this. Right, this is stop number sixty four. So I'm gonna go into this stop list, go down to number sixty four, which is there, and remove it. And then I'm gonna go into uh trolley wires. How am I going to do this? Like that. Works for me. And then that lane. And then... Whoops. I messed that up. Connect it up like so. Let's go back and delete that one. And delete that stop. And delete that bit. And delete that wire. Where is it? There. Now I can actually delete this road as well, although I do wonder where the metro stop is going to go. And indeed the monorail stop. That must be the monorail one. Yeah. There's the other monorail one. There's the metro one. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So this is going to be our new tram line. A little bit more prep work needed up this end, just to connect that up like... Actually... Hmm. I do want to redevelop this area and turn it into a bit more of a hub. So I might even... Leave that as it is. If I connect this up like this... Fire a straight line. Although that track is going to be quite kinked. Uh, I could live with that. Okay. So. Build tram lines straight across like this. first part of our city that has proper on-street running of tram tracks. It's quite an exciting moment for this city. And let's um, large tram depot. Put it in like that. and then like that. Okay, now this bit is bothering me, so I think I might have to redo this bit. I 
want it to be less kinked. I want it to be more going onto it naturally. Which might not be possible unless uh oops. Why is it not let me do that? Really? How strange. Okay, in that case, do we need this long windy path? Probably not. Let's scrap it. And that building. Um oh that might be why. That kind of that's weird. Don't like that. Okay. Build this like this and then like that and then curve it round and connect it up like so. Then go into tram track like that and then avenue running. Now I have no idea where the southern terminus of this line is going to go. But as it is a tram line technically, I would like to see it run through Tram Square. But I don't think I'll be able to do it uh, the way I wanted to. Alright, at this point, it does turn into Metro Track. Eh, no, I don't want to do that. Damn that loop. Why did it have to be there? If I do that, and then... There we go. I could do it like that. Okay, so at this point, it is now... Underground. And I do want it to sort of head in this general direction. Um, there are quite a lot of areas in the South Island. Let me spin the camera around. There are quite a lot of areas here that haven't really been built on that much yet. So I might be able to get away with it. But something else I need to remember is... Uh, Let's do this one like. But I can do tight curves on this because it is a tramway technically. So I can go like that. And then here I can do this. Was it seven? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, and build that along like that and then go back into metro track so we are going to have a little bit like the trolley where every now and then it has to break out into a pedestrian section alright we really are threading the eye of a needle with this aren't we uh, I kind of want another stop over here. Let's tunnel down again. So what's that? That's minus 24 that's at. So let's remember that when I put this bit in. Minus 24. There we go. Straight line across. Like that. Now at this point I'm not 100% sure if I can actually get under the river. Can I? Oh I can. And not just that, but I can actually get under the uh sort of get under the metro track here as well. Ah oh, cool. That's worked out quite well for me then. Um I think another one here. Again, minus 24. 
24 seems to be our level for this line. And I can build that one across to there. Now what level is this at? Let's hope it's not at 24. Oh, it is. I can come up to 20 and build across it. Yep, that works for me. Okay, where's Tram Square? Tram Square is over that way. So I could put another couple of stops in, I reckon, between here and there. Go down to 28 to go under there. Back up to 24 to run over this bit. Um, then I could have one more stop here. Let me put it in the right place. Uh, let's go for there. Like that. And then Metro Track. Can I go across this bit? Uh, yeah, looks like I can. Sort of. There we go. Now, Tram Square is over in this direction, so I'm going to have to bend round to it. And even now, actually, I'm looking, and I'm not really seeing where I can connect. Maybe I will avoid Tram Square. I'm like, I could build an extension to Tram Square at a later date. For now, though, I'm going to curve away from the main metro track. Again, I can build sharp curves, which I'm quite happy about. Um, I kind of want it to go to here, maybe. Grab pedestrian. like that and then one last little bit for this episode and then we're going to call it an episode because this is now a really long episode again although I did ask you guys as well what kind of length episodes you liked and you guys did say or the replies I got said around half an hour so I'm quite happy to do that alright now I need to find where, to, where I can connect this up on this side I don't mind some more on-street running, if it's worth doing. Um, I think the best one is this section. Like that. And then we can run up this way. We avoid the connection with the monorail. So unless I surface... Actually, I could do that. I could do that. Right, where was it starting from? Over here. Let me have a look at that bit. So it's going to go under here like this. Under there like that. Um, and then it's this bit. Like so. And then it connects with the buses over here. Connects with the monorail. Connects with the metro. And then it can just run off to a depot up the end here. And then turn around and go back. Awesome. Now to connect the tracks up, so I can go straight down like this. So this is a really, really weird um, track.
tram line because it runs on metro tracks but at the same time oh actually I could do something else here I could do something like this and then it can run on actual metro tracks as well there you go two star junctions okay so from here we now need it to run onto this pedestrian way and then onto this set of tracks which goes through these tight curves onto where is it this pedestrian way and then onto those tracks which go onto this pedestrian way and you get the idea so on and so forth Now I think I, the small vehicle running regularly system works best for me, I think. Having constantly running trains through these tunnels, um, that idea appeals to me more than uh, the idea of one big train running every hour or so, let's say. Right, and then at this point it runs up onto street level. Okay, that's cool. I like the look of that. All we have to do now is connect up these sections. So, this street's not important, is it? Nope. Delete. Uh, that junction's still used, so I'll use this side instead. Pedestrian walkway. Connect it up to... Is it actually too steep? Oh man, are you kidding me? What about this side? Also too steep. Okay. That puts a spanner in the works slightly. Is this one way? Yeah, why is this one way? I don't actually know. Remove it completely. Right, I could build it to there like that. And then from there, I can have it go back to there, back to there, and. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so there's a lesson to be learnt. This one might not work either, then. And looking at it, it probably won't, because I think at this point it's starting to slope down to go under the water. Yeah. That's why my worst nightmare come true. Oh, I can get it to work here. Okay, brilliant. That one like that, and then that one... Can I get that one to work? Nope. Alright, I'll do it like that still. That's fine. Uh, so we're going to have a very similar problem over here. With this one. So I might delete this road as well. And just have a long walkway. Up to the surface. With sub-walkways breaking off. For some reason that slope isn't too steep. So I can live with that. Okay. Uh, now where's the next one? Over here. This one might not be so bad actually, because I've got more space here. This one might be alright. Although it is saying too steep. I can connect to that one. Which probably means on this side I can connect up over here maybe? If I delete this road I might be able to connect to this bit. No? Okay. I'll just connect that to that still. That's that's alright, that one there. Sort of. Maybe. Probably not actually. What's the height difference then? That is quite a slope actually. I can see where it's coming from. Alright, new plan. I think it's six underground. So here we'll go down three. Like that. And then this one will just finish off the slope. There you go. And we'll delete that junction. Okay, how many more have I got to do? One more over here. And then I think that this is the last one, I think. 
So that's good. And I might just be able to connect this one straight up to surface level. Like that. That works for me. Destroyed a couple of buildings, but it works for me. And then it runs underground, and then surfaces. I could have perhaps put another one here, but I'm not that bothered. Surfaces up here, and then connects up with the bus. So I'm going to convert all of these bus stops into tram stops as well. Uh, where is it? There. And then that one there. And that one there. Uh, and I'll put a tram shelter there and one there okay I think that's that bit done and now for the underground stations um, I'm going to use the big style for these I seem to have lost all feeling in my right hand using my mouse <laughs> that hurts, that actually hurts quite a lot so I will have to wrap this up very very quickly alright those two there Round these sharp curves. Where's the next one? Up here. Um, that one there, and that one there. I can see the underground stations being the only ones that get really busy. The rest I can see being quite quiet. Especially the ones where it's on the road. I can see those being very quiet. Right, over here's the next one. Someone else did comment saying that I could turn off the uh, the circles for the stations so we don't have that horrible color blur effect and I think I will be doing that because um, I kind of I know roughly how big these radii are now so I don't really need a reminder each time and they are a massive pain as you saw when I was trying to build in the hub there's just so much going on there now it's almost impossible to see what where you are and what you're doing Alright, those ones there. Was that the last one or is there... I think there's one more. Nope, that was the last one. Okay. And then we go back to above ground. Actually, for this bit, I'm going to use this style. Very nearly done, guys. Very nearly done. So close. Alright. One there, one there. Uh, where's the monorail station? That's all the way up here. Okay. In that case, I'm going to have one there and one there. And then one more here and one there. And at this point, street running, I'm going to go back to shelters. Have them basically opposite each other. One there, one there. One's here to connect with the metro and the monorail. And a final one. The unloading one can go there. The loading one can go there. Okay, guys. That about does it for this episode. I'm going to map out this line, choose the timetable, name the line, and buy the trains. I'm going to do all that off camera. So when we come back on Monday, we will have a brand new hybrid line completed from the very, very north of the map to the very very south of the map. So until then guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Have a very good weekend and until next time, I will see you soon.